What's up guys? I am John Robert Ortiz from BSEA 3D. So for today's video, we're going to talk about the topic from Dynamics of Rigid Body, specifically the Absolute Body Motion. So for example number one, we have the way of radius R rows on a flat surface without leaping. Determined A, the angular motion of the wheel in terms of uh, linear motion of its center, O. And letter B, find the acceleration of a point comes into a uh, contact with the surface on which a uh, wheel rolls. So solve for the A or the angular motion of the wheel in terms of linear motion of its center O. So the letter A, we have to find angular motion represented by S is equals to the radius, radius multiplied by the theta. And then so second, yung pangalawang rotation naman na yung adjustment rotation naman niya is represented by S prime. S prime, which is equals to which is equals to uh, VO or initial velocity equals to RW. So second rotation tayo or adjustment niya, ito alawa na to represented by s double prime which is equals to initial acceleration which is, which is equals to the uh, radius multiplied by angular acceleration so, so for letter b we have to find the acceleration of point a in comes to a contact with the surface on the wheel which is which rose <laughs> So for letter B, the acceleration of point uh, point comes to contact with the surface on which on the wheel. So kukunin daw natin yung contact niya into the surface o yung x-axis. So for letter B, you have x equals to the angular motion minus the radius multiplied by sine theta. So simply, Yung S natin is equal din sa R multiplied by theta. So, X equals to R theta minus the radius sine theta. Then, factor, R natin, factor out natin yung R. So, R is equals to theta minus sine theta. After nun, derivatives natin. So, equal siya sa R theta prime multiplied by 1 minus side theta. So, correction tayo dito. Since na tayo sa trigon again, trigonometric identities, meron tayong mali dito sa part na to. So, ito ay dapat magiging cosine. Since kung mapapansin nyo ang ating uh, theta prime is equal lang siya sa ang, ating angular velocity and then itong part na to kung siya equals angular velocity equal din siya sa initial velocity so papalitan natin siya magiging x prime is equal sa angular velocity uh, initial velocity Multiply by 1 minus cosine theta. So, afterwards, second derivatives na tayo. So, initial velocity, 1 minus cosine theta, plus initial velocity, theta, sine theta. So afterwards, since ito ay uh, initial velocity prime, which is equals din sa uh, angular, ay angular, uh, acceleration, initial acceleration. So simply, x double prime is equals to initial acceleration multiplied by 1 minus cosine theta plus ang ating velocity or initial velocity is equals din sa rw squared. So kaya lang natin siya. 
magiging r w squared theta sine theta. So after nun, assume natin yung ating theta is equal to 0 since it, meron tayong flat surface. So, meaning, yung ating x double prime ay magiging equal sa x double prime is equal to 0. So, doon naman tayo sa ating vertical axis or sa ating y axis. So, y is equals to r r minus r cosine theta. Simplify natin to. So, magiging y is equals to r multiplied by 1 minus cosine theta. And then, same, same procedure lang. Um, derivatives ng y is equals to r theta prime 1 I know. Sine theta. So, y double prime theta. So, kung mapapansin nyo dun sa ating previous procedure, yung ating uh, theta prime, isa yung value lang natin sa ating angular velocity. And then, yung r multiplied by angular velocity is equals din sa ating initial velocity. So, simply, y prime is equals to the initial velocity sine theta. So, after nun, kunin na natin yung pangalawang derivatives or yung second derivatives, which is equals to initial velocity prime sine theta plus um, initial velocity theta prime cosine theta. So, mapapansin nyo ulit, meron na naman tayong same values dito sa nauna. So, itong uh, initial velocity prime, which is equal lang din sa ating acceleration or initial acceleration. Kaya, papalitan natin siya. So, magiging y double prime is equal to initial acceleration sine theta plus Yung ating initial velocity is equal to rw squared. rw squared theta prime plus yung vo natin or yung initial velocity which is equal to rw for the radius multiplied by the angular velocity and then yung ating uh, uh, theta prime which is equal to angular velocity kaya magiging sagot natin dyan is Radius multiplied by angular velocity squared. Copy lang natin ito. Cosine theta. After that, equate na ulit natin yung theta natin sa zero. So, ang mag answer natin dyan is y double prime is equal to acceleration initial sine theta sine zero plus uh, radius multiplied by angular velocity squared cosine zero and alam naman natin na ang sine 0 is equals to 0. And cosine 0 is equals to 1. So, ang magiging sagot natin dyan is y double prime is equals to r w squared.